Hey guys, me and Mike here. I'm going to show you the behind the back double elbow shot as per the request on Rope Dart Tech. Pretty simple move. It's very similar to the Overlord Shed's armor except it doesn't have the little 360 spin in it. So I'm going to show it to you right quick. I don't have a lot of room so bear with me. And pops. Now, a little breakdown of it. What you're going to do, you're going to pivot back and forth do the little stalls, whatever you want to call them, crane, not cradles. Do the little stalls back and forth. You're going to send it out and behind your back. Now, I tend to use the entire length of my rope in here because I'm used to it and it's about 14, 15 feet long. After that, you're going to catch on your back elbow. This is what you're going to look like so far. You're maintaining this on your back wall plane, for those of you who do poi. I personally like to hold my thumb in it right here to hold on to the slack until I've caught it all up. Then you pivot back, catch it on your other elbow. You're going to form this little knot, uh, the fake knots we like to do on your back. And from here, it's just an elbow shot to your back left side. So let's get the momentum going. You just tend to wrap it up again and shoot. And it gets caught on the fence. Uh, I'll do that one more time, a little faster. So, you pivot, out, one elbow, two elbows, wrap, shot. And that's it. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I love doing tutorials and videos. One more thing I forgot to mention. I'll add it into this video since the whole reason for this tutorial got brought up was because of this question. Rope dart length. So, the beginners that I've always taught, this is beginner. You hold your rope dart like this. Tethered in this hand, holding in this hand, and it just barely touches the ground. Advanced, you hold it at a 45 degree angle, and it should just barely touch the ground. The reason for this is so when you send it out at full length, you can yank it back by going straight up into the air, and it should not touch the ground. That's the reason for advanced length versus beginner length. And as you can see, I'm a broad guy, so the advanced length allows me to get tied up and still have slack so I can do shots and whatnot. That's it. Let me know if you guys need to know anything else. Adios.